What's going on, guys? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. Back at it again, man. I hope you all had a wonderful day. I had a pretty good day, but it started off kind of funny, and it ended kind of funny, too. But it's still a good day. I left the house. I went to the gym early this morning because I'm trying to get back in shape, man. I'm getting too fat. You know, I got to lose some weight. I got to lose about 15 pounds. So I'm in there. I'm, I'm at LA Fitness at 6 o'clock in the morning hitting the iron, right? I'm doing curls. I'm doing shoulder press. I'm doing a little bench press. I went on the uh, basketball court. was shooting a couple jumpers, trying to get my, getting a little bit of cardio in. I should have got on the treadmill, but I didn't feel like it. I felt like shooting jumpers. That's what I did. So I was headed home. I was a little bit late. Because the goal is go to the gym. What in the hell? Okay, that's just the street. I'm like, why is this so much bumpiness going on? But that's the road I was driving on. The goal is to go to the gym early and then leave early with enough time where I can go to work and still be on time. Well, I left the gym a little late today. So when I got home, I was rushing. Long story short, I got in my car, I forgot my coffee. I drove up the street, got to the end of the subdivision and was like, I gotta turn around and get my coffee. I need that. I need the coffee right now. So I turned around, bust a U-turn, parked in front of my house, walked in, got the coffee. No, 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 parked in front of my house, was getting out of the car. My next door neighbor was like, good morning. So I was like, good morning. And as I was closing the door, I closed the Tahoe door on my damn thumb. Look at this. Bullshit oh, you not. Closed it on my thumb. Look, you can still see the line of where the door, of where the driver's side door slammed my thumb. That, it hurt like hell, let me tell you. And if you've ever, comment down below if you ever slammed your finger in the door. It hurts in the car door made it so what make it so bad man when i slammed my my thumb into the door the door locked so now my thumb is stuck in the damn door and i'm trying to open the door frantically to get my thumb out and i'm like what my hand is stuck it hurts like hell i can't get in the door what am i gonna do and that's when something real strange happened in my mind it's like for a split second, all the panic and everything, it just went away. Just for a split second. And I was like, all right, I gotta find my keys and I gotta unlock this door. Otherwise, I might lose this thumb. And it was just that simple. So I calmed down, where's my keys? Boop, boop, unlocked the door. Took my thumb out of the door. It had been crushed, basically. You know, the nail bed is completely black. I probably, lose this nail at some point and my next door neighbor was like oh my god is everything okay are you all right oh did you break it oh my and the whole time it's just like background noise she's saying all these things but it's really black background noise because i'm walking around in so much pain that i can't even utter a sound so i'm just walking around with a straight face just like i'm walking around in the yard I might have cussed a couple times. Went in the house, got my coffee that I went in there originally to get. I told my wife, I said, you ain't gonna believe this. I slammed my damn thumb into the, 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 the Tahoe car door. And I say Tahoe to let y'all know it's a truck, big ass door. It ain't no little bitty, uh, you know, it ain't no civic door. I mean, it's all gonna hurt. But I got really lucky because that shit could have chopped my thumb off. But anyway, later on in the day, uh, I needed to take my car to the shop because I needed two new tires. And on top of that, the other tire in the back has a slow leak. <laughs> so I took it to Tires Plus at around four o'clock. I left work early because I was like, let me get in here early so they don't try to give me no BS because they close at seven. What they try to do is when you go in there, they'll try to tell you, oh man, yeah, we all booked up, man. We won't have time to get these done. It's like, wait a minute, bro. Y'all got three hours. All I want is a tire. You ain't got time for that. 
I guess people don't like to make money anymore. Maybe they're not really incentivized to continue to like push to help you like that. Maybe the only person that's incentivized to do that is the manager, which I think they need to change. Everybody needs to make more money if they can help that last customer. That's neither here nor there. So I go up there, I'm like, yeah, I need two tires and I need a patch on the back tire. Now, anybody with common sense knows that if you try to patch a tire and they tell you, sorry, we're not able to patch it, what's the next thing they're going to ask you? We're not able to patch it. Do you want to go ahead and buy another tire, right? We're at Tires Plus. <clears throat> but no, they put two tires on my car, brought my car around to the front, gave me my receipt and told me the amount. And I was like, okay. And something just told me, so this is for two tires and the patch, right? He was like, oh, no, nah, we weren't able to do the patch. I said, but that's what the, the total that you gave me for was for the patch. The two tires and the patch. He said, oh, yeah, let me let me go ahead and take that patch off because we weren't able to do the patch. I'm like, so you would have let me pay for a patch when I didn't get a patch. That's what I was thinking. And then I'm like, but wait a minute. If I don't get the patch, I'm going to just have a slow leak. And the car is going to go flat in my driveway. And I'm going to be pissed off tomorrow morning. So I said, hey, man, um, can you just put another tire on there? You know, had I known you couldn't patch it, I would have just bought another tire. Oh, man, we're about to close now. Uh, I'm like, it's 6 o'clock. Y'all close at 7. Well, I'm just saying, you know, it's getting, getting kind of late. We're just going to. I said, can I speak to your manager? Manager's name was Archie. Big guy. Had to be about 6, 7. Big, tall, black guy. And he overheard the conversation. He was like, yeah, we'll get up, go ahead and put it on there for about another 20 minutes. We'll put another one on there for him. Go ahead and ring him up for another one. I'm like, damn, that seemed pretty easy to determine that. You know what I'm saying? Did a manager have to totally go against what you're saying? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, come on, man. I want, I want to spend more money to get three tires instead of two. But y'all giving me the runaround. But anyway, went ahead and got that done. I went to the Chinese place right down the street. I said, I'm going to just walk around outside, man, just to clear my head a little bit. Because I'm having to spend a lot of money on these damn tires. Go to the Chinese spot, the Asian cuisine location, let's say that. And um, saw something very interesting. Because it's, it's in like a shopping